mellow out there wherever you are. As for me, today I am at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. Um, and what I wanted to check is, does the $20 sandwich trick work? For those unfamiliar with the $20 sandwich trick, when they when you go to check in, you check in at the counter, don't check in online, don't check in at a kiosk or anything like that. You walk up to the counter, uh, they'll ask you for you know credit card for incidentals, ask you for ID. In between the credit card and the ID, you slip a $20 bill. And generally, they'll ask you, um, including uh, my guy who is great. Um, I don't know how that works downstairs, so I won't name him, but he's great. Um, just ask, like, do you need change or anything like that? You know, like, no, I just need to know if you can upgrade us to anything. Now, we're only staying one night. It's our 10-year anniversary, so we have something to celebrate. We're only here one night, so we need to get upgraded. Um, we got upgraded from the regular city room to a terrace one bedroom so we're gonna check that out now room 2681 here's what we got upgraded to not just your regular room there's a nice like living room area couch iPad controls the room. These are expensive. Do not touch them. And they get to give me a complimentary water. It is 109 degrees outside. On pictures. Let's put in there. Ooh, robes. Ironing board. Safe, I see in here. Safe, iron, slippers, nice. Bathroom, dual mirrors. I can look better in this one. Last one, the shower. Leads into the Japanese soaking tub, which the guy says is only available in these rooms, which is cool. Bedroom. Another nice size TV on the wall. Apparently, see into the bedroom from the tub. It's really cool. But this is the view. The city room I had had no view whatsoever. I don't even know if it had a window. It was your basic hotel room. And now I get this. You now they have rooms that look over the Bellagio fountains and that would have been nice but this is really nice I mean I can't how can you complain with a view like this it's you can see pretty much up and down the strip from Aria MGM all the way down Treasure Island at least the corner of Treasure Island so yeah very nice room incredible view private terrace it's awesome it's my hotel room tour this is a terrace one bedroom uh, at the Cosmopolitan Las Vegas on the 26th floor, 2681. Uh, it overlooks directly behind me, uh, which I know you can't see because it's bright out there, is Planet Hollywood. You can see it better at nighttime. Glare's a little too much during the day. Let's make it nighttime, huh? See this. This is why you stay at the Cosmopolitan. Even on the strip view, not necessarily the fountain view, you get a fantastic view. A top end view. It's absolutely incredible. This is strip side, and you can see. Treasure Island. You really strain yourself, but 
That'll do it. The $20 sandwich trick works. Um, but we were only staying one night and we did have a special occasion, an actual special occasion going on. Um, but it definitely works. We got upgraded to a terrace one bedroom, incredible room, incredible view. Um, but that'll do it. Uh, I would suggest um, trying it yourself, especially if you're on a short stay, a one night stay, and there's not any like conventions or anything going on. Um, that, definitely worth checking out definitely at the cosmopolitan they seem to um, do whatever they can to please you and make sure you have a great stay very cool hotel very nice highly recommend it uh, but that'll wrap it up from the cosmopolitan of las vegas and my name is tom and i was here thanks for watching like and subscribe bye guys